again welcome back we have another property of rational number which is associativity what is associativity of a number is associative of a number is if I will take any three numbers take any three numbers and do an operation with them what will happen after that see if I will see I will take two numbers a and B I'm adding them whatever the result comes I will add the result to C taking three numbers together I will add first two numbers together then whatever the result comes I add the result to the third number and if and again I'm doing the another one if I will take B and C together that means the last two numbers together add them and then add the first number to them then if they are equal they are equal then the associative property holds true that means here two are making association with them and the association of them results in a num new number and that new number will be added to the third number and same in on the right side so this is the associative property in addition we have the same for multiplication a is multiplied by b and the resultant is multiplied by c this has to be same this has to be same as whenever b is multiplied by c and then the resultant is multiplied by a or we can say a is multiplied with the resultant of b and c so this property for ad multiplication as well as for addition is the associative property i am sure that means you are clear about this now we will check whether the associative property holds true for different numbers in different operations first of all i will go for the addition and very fast i am going with only some examples and i am sure you will get through with all the examples in addition i am taking first of all whole numbers in whole numbers what is happening in whole numbers if i will say 2 plus 3 2 and 3 are whole numbers and they are added with 7 what is the resultant the resultant is 5 added with 7 the resultant of 2 and 3 is 5 and the answer is 12 take another way if 2 is added with the resultant of 7 plus 3 7 and 3 resultant which is nothing it is 2 is added with 10 again it will get it 2 is added to 10 comes to be 2 and 12 that means holds true for whole numbers we have integers again I can say 2 3 and 7 are integers 2 3 7 since are integers and it is holding true in integers so it will also hold true in uh, whole number is it true it true for whole number so it will also be true for integers I can say directly it, it I can say directly but let's say and I have an example on that minus 2 is added with 3 and when I add minus negative of 5 it will give you 1 minus 5 give you minus 4 but if negative 2 is added to the resultant of 3 and negative of 5 it will give you negative of 2 and negative of 2 it will give you negative of 4 so again it is holding true here same whole numbers and integers are the part of rational numbers so I can say directly also that rational number also holds associative property of addition they are associative in addition I can say addition is associative in rational numbers in rational also 3 over 2 added with 5 over uh, 4 and this is added with 1 over 2 it will give you 6 over 5 over 4 plus 1 over 2 it will give you 11 over 4 plus I can just 
have an equivalent fraction with the same denominator which is 2 over 4 and it will be 13 over 4. Again, if I will just come to the another part of this, it will be 5 over 4 plus half. Add these two first, I will have 3 over 2 is added with 5 plus 2 over 4. It is nothing 3 over 2 plus 7 over 4. It will give you 6 plus 7 over 4. It will give you 13 over 4. Same. That means rational numbers, integers and whole numbers have the addition as an associative. The addition of whole number, integers and rational is associative. That is the first property. Move to the another one which is multiplication. Multiplication. What multiplication says? Multiplication says if I am taking whole numbers first here I am taking whole numbers here I am taking integers and here I am taking rationals I am taking on a very very similar way and simultaneously we can we can check it out all of them if 2 into 3 and multiplied with 5 is equals to 6 into 5 which is equals to 30. If 2 is multiplied with the product of 3 and 5 what we will get? We get 2 multiplied by 15 which is again 30. In integers what is? Minus 2 is an integer it is multiplied with 3 and this will be multiplied by 5, we get negative of 6 multiplied by 5, which is 30. Let's see, negative of 2 is multiplied with the resultant of 3 and 5, we get negative of 2 and negative of 15, which is again negative of 30. Here also we have negative of 30 because negative of 6 and, neg uh, and 5 will result in negative of 30. I am coming to the last one rationals 3 over 5 multiplied by 15 over 20 which is again multiplied with 1 over 2. So this will result into 5 will be cancelled out it will cancel up and it will give you 3 and it will be 9 over 20 multiplied by half it will be 9 over 40. If 3 over 5 is multiplied with the resultant of 15 over 20 and 1 over 2 it will give you 3 over 5 multiplied by 15 over 40. 5 times 3 times is 15 so 3 times of 3 over 40 will give you 9 over 40. So what is our, we are getting in these 3? In these three, we are getting everything is equivalent. Both the operation we are doing, they are resulting in the same result. So, I can say multiplication, together I am saying it, multiplication is associative Multiplication is associative in whole number, in integer, and in rational numbers. Clear? Whole number, integer, as well as in rational numbers. So, we have learned the associative property in addition and multiplication of integers whole numbers and rational numbers. Now, we will go with the associative property in subtraction. Does subtraction is associative and division is associative? Let's check it. Check with one example. Let's first of all, sorry, first of all, we will go with 
associative property in subtraction. I'm taking whole numbers, I'm taking integers, and I'm taking rationals. In whole number, what is happening? 5 minus 7 minus 2 is equal to negative of 2, negative of 2 is equal to negative of clear let's check 5 subtracted from 7 negative of 2 what is 5 negative of 7 minus 2 is 5 5 minus 5 which is 0 so are they equal no they are not equal so not holds the same property holds in whole number also since whole numbers are the part of integers if something is not true in integers may it will not be true in uh, it will not be true in uh, integers also it is not true in whole numbers so it will not be true in integers here check it out 3 minus 1 minus 4 equals to 2 negative of 4 it is negative of 2 but if I will say 3 is subtract uh, some the 1 the subtraction of 1 and 4 is subtracted from 3 it will be 3 minus minus of 3 it is 3 plus 3 and it will be 6 these are not equal so subtraction is not associative in integers in rationals also 3 over 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 5 by 2. It is 3 minus 1 by 2 subtracted 5 by 2 and it is 2 by 2 minus 5 by 2. It is like 2 minus 5 by 2. It is negative of 3 by 2. But if I will do in the reverse order 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 minus 5 by 2. What one will be? It is 3 by 2 negative of 1 minus 5 by 2. It is 3 by 2 minus minus 4 by 2, which is 3 by 2 plus 4 by 2, and it is nothing. It is 3 added with 4 over 2. It is 7 over 2. So these two are also not equal. One of them is coming positive, the another one is coming negative. See, we have seen it is negative. It is 0, it is negative, it is positive, it is negative, it is positive. So, subtraction in whole number, integers or rational number is not associative. Check to the last one, the last property we have is associativity of division. Division is the last operation for us. So, I am going to check with division. Same process we follow whole number, integers, and rational. It will give us comparison actually. Whole integers rational giving us a comparison of them. So what is happening is in whole numbers is the division associative. 3 divided by 5 divided by 2. What is the answer? It will be 3 over 5 divided by 2. It is nothing. It is 3 by 5 multiplied by 1 over 2 and the answer is 3 over 10. But if 3 is divided with the resultant of 5 divided by 2, we have 3 divided by 5 over 2 or I can say it is 3 multiplied by 2 over 5 since we have an operation and we have a process of doing this when division is there we reverse the order and we make a sign multiplication and reverse the fraction 5 by 2 makes 2 by 5 so it will be equals to 6 over 5 and these two are not equal clear so it will not hold true in whole numbers in integers is it hold holding true the same process 
I can take four integers if I will take negative of 2 divided by negative of 4 and it will be divided by 3 what is negative of 2 over negative of 4 divided by 3 it will give you 1 over 2 divided by 3 it will give you 1 over 2 multiplied by reciprocal of 3 1 by 3 it is 1 over 6 and in the second part if negative of 2 is divided by resultant of negative of 4 divided by 3 we have negative of 2 divided by negative 4 by 3 and it will give you negative of 2 multiplied by the reciprocal of negative 4 by 3 which is 3 over negative 4 and we have negative negative makes positive 2 times of 2 is 4 so we have 3 by 2 these two are also not equal every time we are having a, an, a different uh, resultant the resultant is different so integers are not associative for in division division is not associative for integer same rational numbers we can check for rational numbers also with an example 1 over 2 divided by 2 over 5 divided by 1 over 3 very simple example I am taking 1 over 2 into 5 by 2 divided by 1 by 3 it is 5 by 4 divided by 1 by 3 reciprocate of 1 by 3 is 3 by 1 it is 5 it is 15 by 4 by default I have written 4 I have written 3 so it is wrong so I just make an correction of the error it take another part of this half divided by 2 by 5 divided by 1 by 3 what is the resultant is is it 1 by 2 divided by 2 by 3 and reciprocal of 1 by 3 which is 3 over 1 so 3 3 will be uh, uh, 3 3 new thus will be 5 what I am doing every time this is 3 over so it will be 1 over 2 divided by 6 over 5 and reciprocal of 6 over 5 is 5 over 6 so I will have 5 by 12 as an answer these are also not equal so I can say division is not associative in whole numbers in integers as well as in rational numbers got it so we have been through with the third property of integers which is associativity of integers and we have seen that integers have uh, rational numbers are associative holds associative property in subtract uh, in uh, addition as well as in multiplication but not in division and subtraction